what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today many of you have requested me for doing a chart uh, in the area of sports so this person is an athlete so this is the chart of a man this person is born in Gwalior India and the time is 11 4 a.m. and it's 14th July 1981 all right and other details are not to be given for security reasons as this person had requested me so now this person is a very uh, good athlete quite successful in some area of sports in india and this is the beautiful chart that this person has all right so there are many yogas in this chart about which we will be discussing all right so there you go if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and if you want a personal consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and as i begin i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so now what's going on in this chart here well there are many things going on we will see some good and bad both all right because the person has given me permission to discuss some of the things here now what do we see here the first thing that we see is uh, we need to check the houses 6 and 12 in the chart of a sportsman why 6 and 12 because sixth house deals with hard work yes perseverance tenacity and all those things and 12th house deals with losses so Basically, what a sportsman does, he does a lot of hard work. I mean, physical hard work. Everybody does hard work, but 6th house shows physical hard work also. And 12th house also shows our losses. So, 12th house uh, shows our losses in a way that, uh, and if the 12th lot is well placed, so then that can show that uh, the losses uh, are giving us good things back in return. Yes. So, that's very true with this chart because if you see here, 6th lot is uh, Saturn here. I mean, there are two lords of the sixth house, considering the sign Aquarius is lorded by Saturn and Rahu. So, one of the lords is placed in the Lagna itself. So, whichever planet is placed in the Lagna, that planet becomes the most important planet in the chart. All right. So, now here, Saturn is placed in the Lagna itself. So, that shows that uh, one of the most important parts of his life inevitably because when a planet is placed in the lagna it's inevitable that those things will uh, play around the life of the native so that planet is saturn here in the first house so it is ruling the sixth house and it is also ruling the fifth house yes so because of this what happens is uh, this person inherently uh, has a life where he has to do a lot of physical work yes and because it is in the sign of virgo so that shows very much uh, precision to details and a uh, lot of attention to specific things which may not be there in other uh, professions but in case of sports like uh, running with setting the timer yes trying to compete with your own time in the previous day so these are the things which happen when and especially if the planet is a planet like saturn which is the significator of hard work and uh, perseverance and patience and tolerance and all this yes so because of that uh, this uh, thing is working in the chart sixth lord placed in the first house so uh, now saturn is also the fifth lord here fifth lord placed in the lagna is also very good for a person's name fame status and recognition because fifth house is also the house of uh, achievements yes so because that should that's the original sign of leo the number five sign and leo shows royalty and status yes so that's pertaining to the sixth house so the, now the next thing is the placement of the 12th lord 12th lord is sun here considering uh, leo in the 12th house so sun is placed in the 10th house it is under directional strength yes so that shows that when the 12th lord is well placed in the lagna that can at times if the other combinations support in the chart show that uh, the person does very well in foreign lands or the person can do uh, very good uh, if the person uh, does some expenses in the beginning uh, pertaining to career or whichever house that uh, 12th lord is placed in and then the person gains a lot of things out, out of that yes so now here sun is not only placed in the 10th house which is the strongest of the kendra houses 
14710 and it is also having directional strength because Sun Mars gets directional strength in the 10th house as we all know so because of that uh, this combination uh, this uh, placement is acting very good for the native and uh, to 12th house when sh placed in the 10th house can show as I said foreign or a lot of a lot of energy is going uh, when the person is working because 10th house shows our primary karma in life and then as if this was less the planet Mars which also uh, is in the 10th house is also in directional strength uh, and uh, now the other thing you need to see here is Mercury is the uh, Lagna Lord because this is a Virgo rising so the Lagna Lord is placed in 10th house yes and this is placed in its own sign of Gemini so this is creating a Mahapurush Yoga known as Bhadra Mahapurush Yoga about which I will discuss later but as of now what Bhadra Mahapurush Yoga is that if Mercury is placed in these four houses either of these four yes the first four seventh and tenth in the own sign or in exaltation yes so that means either in Virgo or in Gemini because Mercury gets exalted in its own sign so you have only two signs remaining so here 10th house is there because the number 3 is in the 10th house that's the sign of Gemini and Mercury is placed here so it is the Lagna Lord in 10th house is a beautiful placement for uh, people because especially uh, if it is a man's chart because then it shows that uh, the person is very much uh, very much focused towards doing things in life rather than sitting and wondering what hap what has happened yes so because of that this is uh, working in a very good way and that too the lord is placed in the own sign and gemini as we all know it's the original third house of uh, movement yes so third house is 12 from the fourth so fourth house shows our settlements so this person always has to keep moving from one place to the other so because of that also uh, this is working yes because sports is very dynamic today you are doing this tomorrow you do something else yes so uh, this person has a lot of traveling and a lot of change and a lot of dealing with other people yes so now here two planets uh, two fiery planets are in the 10th house and both are having directional strength so that also shows that there's a lot of energy which is being spent and because these two are conjunct the lagna lord so that shows that this uh, this becomes like a life purpose for this person because wherever the Lagna Lord goes that shows what the person will be physically doing yes so it is so Sun is the 12th Lord that is conjunct Mercury the Lagna Lord and Mars is ruling the third house again which is the house of movements and it is also the eighth house yes so so these two planets uh, are being placed here sun and mars with mercury so that shows that a lot of movement and a lot of change is happening in the workplace constantly and this is acting very well for the native because 10th lord mercury is in its own sign yes it is under mahapurush yoga so whenever the lagna lord is uh, under some kind of a special yoga that shows uh, that the person's intelligence the person's mind uh, the person's uh, way of thinking the thought process is very strong yes the person always does what he should be doing in that area especially if it is under Amapurush yoga or it is in Kendra or it is in the 10th house or in the 9th house especially so these are very beautiful placements rarely to be seen anywhere I mean you can see Lagna Lord in 10th but not necessarily it is under Amapurush yoga like this now the next thing is the other co-lord of the 6th house Rahu is uh, is sitting in the 11th house so because of this what happens uh, 11th house shows our income so 6th house also as I said previously regarding to Saturn uh, shows our hard work so uh, when 6th and 11th are connected that can show that we can be uh, good as an employee and uh, because here 6th Lord is in the 11th so it's showing that this person uh, has earned a lot of money through his uh, sports and hard work and all these um, all these encounters which this person has been doing and now we see that uh, moon is in the third house yes so third house again is the natural house of travel so again the 11th lord has gone to the third house so that shows that uh, most of his money will come from uh, endeavors which uh, will be very short-lived and there will be a lot of change in it yes 
because 11th house shows the income 11th lord will tell you from where the income is coming and uh, planets placed in the 11th house also tells you which planets can give you income yes so uh, because rahu the sixth lord is in the 11th and the 11th lord is in third so this shows income from uh, short endeavors yes and we see that ketu is placed here in the fifth house it also aspects the first house and ketu is also the third lord here so when third lord is aspecting the lagna that shows a prominent aspect of his life will be to keep changing and moving to different places and so many other things of course so now jupiter is also having directional strength here it is also the seventh lord and the fourth lord so because of that uh, this person is very much uh, geared towards staying in his homeland this person doesn't like much to travel abroad or to uh, go away from the homeland and this person wants to stay in india and he says i will i have stayed here i have lived here and i will die here i don't want to go abroad so that can happen at times when the fourth lord uh, is associated with the lagna and this has directional strength also and because it's also the seventh lord so that shows that there's a lot of name fame and success for this person because uh, when the seventh lord is connected with the lagna then that shows that opposite uh, the people who are opposite to you they are very naturally attracted to you and uh, there are many other combinations in this chart which shows all of these things but as of now that's what i wanted to share and uh, some negative instances incidences with this person is uh, that something very obvious that uh, the mother of this native had passed very early when he was a child because uh, we see moon as the natural significator of mother the karaka is in debility here in the sign of scorpio and it is aspected by two two malefics saturn and rahu so saturn and rahu if they are combinedly aspecting somehow that can show some curses in the chart or some areas where there is some uh, likelihood of suffering yes so saturn with the third aspect aspects this moon and rahu with the fifth or if you consider rahu to be retrograde the ninth aspect is falling here so because of this there is some serious suffering which the mother had to undergo in her life and she could not sustain her physical entity and she had to leave this planet all right when he was very young so he was bereft of uh, this comforts of his mother although jupiter is uh, the fourth lord it is also placed in the lagna and he also says that my mother's principles and values are a very integral part of my life that can happen when the fourth lord is in the lagna um, but here unfortunately saturn is also the sixth lord you see although it's ruler of a triangle but the mool trigon sign is in the sixth house and sixth house is the house of untimely death so fourth lord when conjunct with the um, Sixth Lord can at times show some difficulties with the mother, especially if it is a malefic, and especially if the moon, if moon which is the natural karaka for uh, the mother is also afflicted. So here both the things are happening. The sixth Lord is conjunct the fourth Lord in the lagna, and moon is also in debility, and third house is also not a very great house for moon because it is twelfth from the uh, fourth house where of which moon is the karaka. So. so third house moon is not a very strong moon and it's in debility and aspected by two two malefics and it is devoid of any uh, good aspect of jupiter also in this chart yes so because of that uh, these things had uh, happened with his uh, mother and <clears throat> apart from that uh, this person uh, is married and uh, is staying uh, happily with his wife although because uh, rahu is conjunct uh, venus so because of that this uh, shows that there was a intercaste marriage because when rahu influences venus the person um, doesn't uh, at times feel very good when they deal with members of the opposite sex which are of the same caste and creed i've seen so this person uh, has had a love marriage also because the fifth lord saturn is aspecting Uh, the seventh house yes we all know that when fifth lord aspects the seventh or fifth lord sits in the seventh then this can lead to love marriage etc 
and Rahu as the uh, natural Karaka for breaking traditions and taboos is also with Venus and also aspects Moon. Yes. So when Rahu influences both Moon and Venus uh, and the 5th and 7th are connected and if you see very well the 5th Lord and 7th Lord are also conjunct in this chart. Yes. So 7th house, 7th Lord and Rahu also aspects the 7th house. Yes. So all these things had led to uh, love marriage and have a seventh lord is also in the lagna. So these are also good indicators of such things. All right. So there are many other things in this chart which uh, I will not discuss because that's not the focus of this video. So that is what I wanted to say. Sports is the thing which is seen from this person. All right. So that is it from my side. If you want a consultation then please approach me through my website and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you are new to the channel then you are not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it okay and until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you